Hi, I'm Sarah. In this video, I will show you how to use a compound microscope for a lab activity. We'll talk about proper handling of the microscope and how to use it to examine opaque and wet specimens. You will need this scale to study living and non-living things, and to explore some specimens in the biodiversity lab. Let's get started by grabbing a microscope from the cabinet. Grasp the arm of the microscope with one hand and place your other hand under the base. Set it on the bare table with the stage facing you. Unwind the cord and plug it into the outlet at your table. If the light does not work, check to be sure that the table is plugged into the wall outlet. Let's review the parts of the microscope. The lenses at the top are the oculars, or eyepieces. You will use the slanted one when you are seated. The upright ocular is useful for when you are standing at a low table. The magnification of the ocular is printed on the rim of the lens. There are three objective lenses attached to the revolving nose piece. As the nose piece is rotated, you can hear the objectives click into place. This is why the microscope is a compound microscope. The total magnification is the product of the ocular and the objective lens that is in exact alignment. The magnification of each objective is shown on the side of the lens. The longest one is a high power objective. The shortest lens is a scan objective. The one of medium length is a low power objective. The longer the lens, the more powerful the magnification. Clean the lenses with the lens paper before you begin using the microscope. Never use Kim wipes to clean microscope lenses because they will scratch them. You will place specimen slides on the stage of the microscope. Although you have clips on the stage, you do not need to use them, unless you will be moving the microscope with the slide on the stage. The opening in the stage allows light to pass through your specimen. If your slide is too dark and the specimen isn't visible, try adjusting the diaphragm. The diaphragm controls the amount of light coming through the specimen. It is attached to a condenser lens, which should be visible through the opening in the stage. You can adjust the amount of light coming through the condenser lens by moving the diaphragm lever. Use as little light as possible. Too much light can wash out or distort your specimen. The right amount of light improves the clarity of the specimen. Now you'll make a wet mount, or temporary specimen of a magazine punch. Grab a clean plain glass slide from the blue box in your tray. Place a magazine punch on the slide with a colored slide up. To prepare a wet mount, the specimen must be placed in some type of liquid, usually water. Place one drop of water on top of the magazine punch using the dropping bottle provided. Obtain a clear plastic cover slip from your tray. Handle the cover slip by the edges to avoid fingerprints. Place one edge of the cover slip in the drop of water and lower the cover slip on the slide at an angle to prevent air bubbles. To focus on the wet mount, place the scan objective, 4x, in the exact alignment with the ocular lens. Place the slide on the microscope and put the magazine punch over the center of the stage opening. As you look at the microscope from the side, turn the course adjustment knob to raise the stage until it stops. This makes the working distance, which is the distance between the objective and the slide, as small as possible. A built-in stop will prevent the scan and low power objectives from breaking the slide. Now, while looking through the ocular, and try this with both eyes open to avoid fatigue, like this, lower the stage with the course adjustment until the specimen comes into view. Switch to the low power objective and use the course adjustment to bring the specimen into clear focus. Sharpen the image with a fine adjustment. You will notice the magazine punch looks quite different under the microscope because of the microscope's ability to clearly separate details. This is called resolving power, or resolution. If you see some unrecognizable or odd-looking object, you may be viewing an artifact. No matter how hard you try, artifacts are a fact of life with wet mounts. Artifacts include air bubbles, which have dark and regular borders, dust particles, trash, fingerprints, and scratches. Learn to recognize these as you work with the microscope so that you will not mistake them for your specimen. Now we're going to look at transparent specimen. Obtain a drop of pond water from the bottom of the culture dish where there's a concentration of organisms. Place the drop in the center of a clean glass slide. Lower cover slip over the drop of water at an angle. Place the slide on the stage of the microscope and focus it using a scan power, with the diaphragm closed to its smallest diameter. Scan the slide by grasping each side of the slide with your thumb and index finger. Move the slide slowly up and down and from side to side while observing the sample through the ocular. This is called scanning, and it allows you to rapidly explore the entire area under the cover slip. Once you have located a live organism, try to center it and then switch to low power. If the organism is small enough, you may also wish to switch it to high power after focusing under low power. Let's talk about using the high power objective, or the most powerful lens on the microscope. 
Remember the specimen must be clearly focused under the low power before you switch to high power because the microscope is parfocal. Otherwise, the high power objective may be damaged as it comes into contact with the slide. Now sharpen the image with the fine adjustment. When using the high power objective, you cannot use the coarse focus knob. If you cannot see your specimen, go back and focus it under low power. Once you switch to high power, you may have to adjust the light with the diaphragm lever, since the high power objective lens has a smaller opening. You may need to focus continuously with a fine adjustment because live organisms tend to move not only from side to side, but also from top to bottom. When you have finished with your wet mounts, wipe them off with a Kim wipe and discard the Kim wipe and the cover slip in the trash. Place the clean slide back in your blue box. When you're finished with your microscope, turn the nose piece so the high power objective is not in alignment. Wind the cord around the brackets on the back of the arm. Place the plastic cover on the microscope and put it in the cabinet with arm facing out. Okay, so now you're ready to use the microscopes in your lab activity. See you in the lab!